Well, new information tonight about convicted sex offender Matthew Harger, who's been charged with grabbing an 11 year old girl downtown last month. Prior to his arrest, Fox 17 News learned that he cut off his ankle monitor, but instead of sending him back to prison, the state gave him a new ankle monitor. Fox 17 News Karen Aguilar joining us live near the Metro Courthouse with what else she's learned. Karen. Turns out that second chance ankle monitor was an agreement between the DA's office and the public defender, but it clearly didn't turn out the way they hoped. Matthew Harbour was convicted of groping 11 year old Jessica Deese outside this smart on Old Hickory Boulevard in 2012. She talked to Fox 17 about the impact of that assault. I get nightmares every day to this year in October. As a part of his release from prison, Harbor was ordered to wear an ankle monitor so the state could track him. But in 2023, this police report shows he was charged with tampering with his monitor and illegally removing it. That should have sent him back to prison, but it didn't. Instead, he got a new monitor. I asked the State Department of Corrections why. A spokesperson tells me it was court ordered. Turns out the DA's office reduced a charge to attempted removal of the monitor. Defense attorney Ben Rabin says the difference in the two charges is significant. Going from a minimum of six months in jail to a maximum of 12 months of either jail or probation with no minimums. I spoke to the original victim's mother by phone tonight. She's livid. My reaction is anger and heartbreak. That this could have been stopped. He could have been put back in jail. Harper is now awaiting trial on his latest charge. Police say he groped another young girl in the stairwell of this parking garage near the Metro Courthouse. TDOC says Harbor was wearing his GPS device at that time. Ken Alexandro is a former police officer. The people who suffer for this are the citizens because repeat offenders continually are released. Jessica Deese and her family are hoping it will be different this time. Harbor is scheduled for a mental health evaluation on Monday. This will determine how quickly his case will go to trial. Reporting live in Nashville, Karen Aguilar, Fox 17 News, your Code Red Station.